Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are looking at interior designs. But instead of looking at individual elements strewn across a flat world, I have decided to build seven apartments ranging from low class to middle class to upper class. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're actually going to be looking at is the hallway, not one of the apartments. And as you can see here, I've put together just a sample of a hallway so if you're building like an apartment building or anything like that then this is the kind of hallway that i would recommend especially for the lower class right so it's very gray um supposed to be kind of metallic looking the the carpets are all messed up mashed up you got ventilation ducting running through the ceilings um as i normally do you guys know me by now uh, we got some recessed lighting and vending machines, ATMs, trash disposal, and just trash piling up in general, right? Um, also, love the neon signage. Good for marking out your apartments and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the hallway. All right, so heading into apartment 101, we have a very basic looking apartment here. It's not the smallest one that I made, but uh, it's, it's pretty cramped in here. Um... So you have like a recessed bed there. There's a, a little ladder that goes out to an escape hatch. There's a TV. These are old TVs. Um, so for in the future, you'll be seeing a lot of these. Uh, we got some couches and some blinds leading out to a dead space with a lot of graffiti and some machinery there. Um, a little kitchen with a hob and an extractor and some condiments and a bowl. A little desk with a mouse and a keyboard and a decent sized screen, I have to say. We have the work clothes on an armor stand here by the front door and a couple essentials hanging out by the front. Then the bathroom is through here. So you have some blinds hanging in front of the bathroom. There's a shower. I like to waterlock the trap door so that we get the dripping effect um, falling down here. There's a working sink. Right, just uh, a little bit of a dispenser and some um, little background redstone action. So you got a working sink and you got a toilet. So all of that is pretty much standard. There's a lot of uh, ducting and piping and machinery in here. Um, the lower class residents, they don't really have the money to afford places that don't have a lot of this. But to be fair, all cyberpunk apartments must have piping and redstone um not redstone sorry piping and machinery but uh some of them will be a little bit better hidden right moving on to apartment 102 and this one is a lot smaller it's kind of like a pod apartment right so you have like the the bunk bed up there that you can get to there's a little bit of a recess here where the person can put down their like phone and then a couple of knickknacks maybe a book or whatnot there's some actual storage up here um a very tiny little stove and extractor setup and a little smart fridge under the bed um there's also the uh, shower toilet combo don't judge me okay these people are poor what do you expect so yeah it's got some uh blinds in front of it again and we have another tv just here mounted on the from from the air conditioning ducting basically so yeah very very tiny also some um smithing tables for floors these are very nice and uh manky looking onto apartment 103 and this one's a lot nicer this is about as nice as it gets for the lower class citizens right it's a well put together apartment everything's recessed into the walls and it just feels a little bit more zen a little bit more um oriental i guess so we have a little kitchen unit here that actually looks half decent um i'm using a minecart this time for a for an oven instead of a regular furnace i just i just feel like it adds a little bit of the difference to you know every oven looking like either a furnace or a blast furnace um and the fact that it overlaps some of the blocks means that it, it's not exactly fitting into the regular square shapes so that's kind of nice it breaks that routine right and then we have a couple of knickknacks recessed into the corner there we have a nice bed here with like a 
a sitting area for the television that's hanging from the ceiling yet again yes every screen screens everywhere okay it's cyberpunk everyone needs their screen time then in the cupboard there's no clothes there's just guns lots and lots of guns right so in here we have a little partitioned off bathroom this time the toilet and the shower is actually separated which is fantastic and there's a little sink recessed in here and as you can see that's the machinery from the dead space so uh yeah be creative with how you squeeze things in love the trim around the edges here as much neon signage as i can i love these things they look so good and uh yeah nice nice color scheme very colorful for for the lower classes um with the cyan and orange combination i really dig it uh moving on to apartment number 104 and this is another pod apartment and this time it's a proper pod and it's a really rusty one too right we got a couple more of the neon signage the person has managed to keep the fridge from completely uh rusting over so we got a nice little fridge there and a different kind of extractor unit above the um stove here um also you'll see endstone creeping into some of these places i just like the way that it looks it looks dirty right it uh it adds a pop of color where you don't expect it kind of the closest thing to yellow that we can get for walls and stuff so um it adds dirty yellow and that's good i i, I guess shower here yeah another one with more drainage that doesn't really work so that's why there's water there and more water logged up here for dripping and uh, at least the toilet isn't comboed with the shower and a brown bed and a brown couch uh couch works as storage so that's very useful and then we got a lovely tv and i could just imagine what these speakers would do inside a metal tube like this it would probably be amazing and look at that view this person actually has a decent view it's an amazing view all right moving on and as we head to the middle class apartments let's just have a quick look at the hallway right so the ceiling's kind of the same it's just a little higher because they need more space you know more money more space so uh the carpet also looks a little bit nicer it's not as uh manky and broken as the other one we got more of the neon signage which i love but there is still lots of machinery there's machinery running behind the signage there's these pipes coming down here there's the extractor units above the doors there's those pipes there so they're still piping there's still machinery but it's a little bit neater and then there's these wall recesses in here to add some color and to make things feel a little bit more uh structured here on the middle class floor right so heading into apartment 201 and we have a very purple pink magenta -y kind of apartment this person obviously loves this color scheme so we have some knickknacks um at the front door here some gold armor because rich people love uh, displaying armor pieces for some reason right and a couple more knickknacks and then i have added in a, a crying obsidian rug here just to point out and illustrate something to you guys there are a couple of textures in minecraft including this and including the high face and also prismarine and i think sea lanterns there's a few of them that are animated as you can see that is moving and that is looking like circuitry running through the walls and animated uh, textures are fantastic for adding just that that background movement into your builds that uh really helps make cyberpunk sell cyberpunk properly i think right so then we have a nice little uh white marble kind of kitcheny unit here we have an extractor unit that's actually a little bit like it recessed it's it's pulling it out that way not just straight up through the vents uh sink and some workspaces and lots of cupboard space right you got more money you got a lot more cupboard space then we have the big vertical um axolotl tank here in the middle uh because rich people love water features um recessed couches with a lovely rug and a coffee table and a nice big ultra widescreen television um yeah more of the uh neon signage and my all-time favorite window with the uh <laughs> the carpet blinds um then as you can see here there's some rollers under the floor which uh it 
Ooh, I'm stuck. Um, <laughs> some rollers under the floor for when you want to close up these blinds uh, at night to separate you or your bedroom. Um, in here we have a sunken like futon bed with a nice little three monitor setup for uh, study and working and hacking and whatever else cyberpunk people do. Uh, a very flamboyant uh, cupboard. And I love these lights up at the top here. So you have the half slabs, the stairs, the chain, the end rods, and then the trap doors. And I think that makes a really cool looking light fixture up at the top. But then my favorite part of this entire apartment is the flamboyant bathroom, right? No one likes building with purple. It's a hard block to build with, but it makes some really cool looking bathrooms in my opinion. All right, so you have the extended smart toilet with uh, the toilet paper roll. You have the corner uh, shower with a, a little bit of a shower thing there, uh, to the, the, the tap, and um, the sink with a mirror that is reflecting all of the pink in this apartment with a little bit of a blush applier lying on the, the table there. And all in all, this is a pretty cool apartment. Also, the ceiling, very uh, detailed with the undersides of the smithing tables and furnaces. And again, there is piping in here, but it looks a little bit neater than it did in the lower class apartments. Moving on to apartment 202. And this one is, again, a zen take on this floor's apartments. And we have a massive window at the back here. Just look at that view. Isn't it beautiful? So many things to see. And we have the uh, the oriental, well, the Japanese dining table with the, the seating cushions and a little bit of a rustic kitchen, if you will, right? Uh, nothing in the fridge to see there, but you got some condiments and you got a spatula over there. And this time I used the minecart for the ventilation because I just love the way that it terraces up. It makes it feel a little bit more rounded out um, towards the, the wall that I used there for the pipe. The ceiling is very interesting. Uh, kelp, because why not? You know, it goes from green and then you have the prismarine, which, by the way, is another one of the animated textures. So very useful for adding a bit of dynamicness to your builds. So it goes from green to the green from the prismarine which kind of turns into cyan over time and then back to green again um which is what this animation does and that all ties in very well with all of the orange around here also these accent walls are fantastic for minimalist builds because you don't have to fill this wall with knickknacks and paintings and all kinds of things you could just have this this combination of block wall block wall block is a fantastic way to make sure that a wall doesn't look flat while not having to over decorate it right and this is a, a an extravagant version of that it could have easily just been you know bricks with some andesite walls bricks andesite walls or something like that just to give it that beveled look and uh not have to add anything the same goes for these stair walls right so just stair stairs all the way to the top they help for creating some form of an accent, gives you some depth, and you don't have to actually decorate those walls. Um, more neon signage because they are everywhere because uh, I, I love them. What do you want? And then we move into the bedroom. And here I've decided to use some actual walls for the walls because walls for walls, right? And it just adds a little bit more depth to everything. And I love it. And then probably the most extravagant part of this entire minimalist um apartment is this headboard it is uh, a little bit over the top i got carried away with it not gonna lie but um i like it you know why not why not and uh, we have some working storage there upside down shelters make for lovely looking rugs but also useful for storage and then you know it's a minimalist apartment but they still need some access to cyberspace, right? Because how are you going to hack people if you don't have access to cyberspace? So, uh, yeah, a little bit of a desk set up there. And then we have the bathroom. And now here we have um, some piping and machinery that wasn't easily avoided for this uh, slightly more wealthy person. 
So it kind of runs straight through their bathroom. But it does uh, allow them to have much better heated water, I guess, in this working bathtub, by the way. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. We got some shampoo bottles and some other um, self-care products. <laughs> um, we got the three seashells, as you do, and a mirror with a, a sink and a toilet over here. Not the uh, fanciest toilet. Uh, cut some corners with this apartment to be able to afford yeah, uh, an extravagant wall like that, I guess. Uh, moving on. And as we approach our final apartment, and let's be honest, probably the one that uh, every player would pick as their own apartment, um, minus maybe the netherite blocks for doors. Um, yeah, we have this lovely looking hallway still with machinery and pipes, but everything else is looking a little bit more snazzy, right? It's not all the greys and stuff anymore. We got some nice quartz, some deep slate, and a lovely looking carpet. The ceilings are a little bit higher this time again. And we have a metal detector because rich people are paranoid. So we come into our lovely apartment with the piston doors made out of netherite blocks because, hey, why not, right? And we have two netherite guards at the front door. You could also, just now that I thought about it, actually, you could post a guard out here. You could probably use one of those guys from my robot video, right? You should probably go check that video out at the same time. And hey, if you're finding any of this useful, how about giving me a subscribe and liking the video? That would be fantastic. Thank you. Moving back inside, uh, I really love this floor with the uh, the rock feature uh, sunk into the floor. That's really cool. We've got some uh, paintings here at the front door and some hanging plants. And then let's move along to the living room. Um, here we have some lovely couches and all of these trap doors that you see are actually powered. I do not use the debug stick when I'm designing because I know not everyone likes using that. Um, so if you look under here, you will see that each one of them is actually powered with a lever. The same goes for the uh, these ones here, right? There's actual levers behind this wall. Um, and the same goes for that one, right? So yeah, just remember that. So we have these couches and we have water features because rich people, yay, water features everywhere. And uh, so you have the aquarium, you have some really cool lanterns coming down from the ceiling with the neon signage because they're amazing. And then we have this projector arm coming down, projecting the most state-of-the-art television ever, right? Just like a 3D rotating awesome television. Uh, I don't know. And uh, yeah, you got some nice windows with some shutters coming down over them, security shutters because paranoia. Um, and then probably my favorite part of designing this entire set for this entire tutorial was this chair. Uh, for some reason, it tickled me in a, in a good way, right? So you have this lever powering the trapdoor, and then you have this lever um, being held up by this carpet, but the carpet is being held up by the lever. And the whole thing doesn't actually connect because it is uh, maglift, right? It's done with magnets. It's a floating chair, right? And it can go that way, and then this whole desk can come down and become a standing desk. You got another three monitor setup, which is fantastic. And then let's head into the kitchen. And hey, look, there's another aquarium because rich people love uh, aquariums, yay. Um, so you have the big dining table with all the chairs, and who needs a real chandelier when you can have a holographic chandelier? Yes, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, state-of-the-art technology. A holographic chandelier, right? And then probably every private chef's worst nightmare is the Ventcorp Chef Bot. This kitchen is fully automated. So there's a scrolly screen there that you can pick um, meals from whatever ingredients you have available in your two massive fridges. And uh, let's say you want some braised creeper head, you just click on that one and this arm will start, you know, cooking the whole thing, doing the whole thing. You don't have to do any, you don't need to lift a finger, you don't need to cook that bamboo yourself. Um, and then here we have uh, a nice electric fireplace with the blue flames and a mounted dragon's head because rich people like mounting thing, things heads to walls. Um, I know, there's lots of rich people cliches in this video. What do you want? 
Um, and then more neon signage. I think that makes for a good looking frame around it. And look, pipes, right? But very well structured pipes. Everything looks neat. Everything kind of fits into the whole apartment. Also calcite and black um, concrete for the floor design here, which I really liked. And uh, yeah, then moving on to the bedroom, we have my absolute biggest fear of heights inducing uh, glass floor. Uh, because, you know, they like to live on the edge. Um, and then you have a very minimalistic bedroom, to be honest. Uh, not a lot of knickknacks, just a lot of window. And just look at that view! Have I made this joke enough? Cabot oh goodness. We got a wardrobe <laughs> here that is actually hiding the toilet. And then there's a shower in the corner here. Very open plan. Um, very bohemian, for sure. And then it's going out into... A little balcony. This is uh, the first bit of fresh air that any of these cyberpunk inhabitants has gotten. You know, only the rich people get to have some fresh air. And this is probably above the smog cloud. Um, by the way, I did tidy up the back of this just a little bit, just so it doesn't look completely terrible. Uh, but it's not exactly an exterior build video now, is it? Um, there is an exterior build video that you can go and watch with all the other stuff over there. Yeah, a nice infinity pool and some recliners with a little uh, parasol. And yeah, that is that is all of the apartments. So you know what? Let me know down in the comments which of all of these things you like the best. Which apartment would you pick? And uh, as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day and see ya.